Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to another one of my videos. Are you ready to hear my thoughts and see me use this palette? If you are, then please keep on watching. I just want to thank you all for coming to my channel and watch my videos. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and be part of Didi family. But before we start also, I just want to say that I almost own all of the Anastasia palettes except one. Um, but I am going to buy. I'm so obsessed with this, with this palette, how it looks. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't swatched it. I've seen it and it looks stunning in real life. Now, it didn't, it came a little bit, not broken, but these two shades are a little bit messed, especially this one. Feels like it's going to come out any second now. And some shade is transformed down here to the brush, but or, otherwise everything looks good. I'm not really, I did swatch maybe two shades. I lied, sorry, I did swatch two shades. The glittery shades. And I'm not really a big fan of these glitters. I haven't tried them on my eyes, uh, but I'm not really a big fan because they don't have the same texture as the Tarte Beauty Palette, Tarte Volume 1 palette. Those glitters has like a base, a sticky base that really sticks to the eye. These look to be more like pressed glitters that need um, glitter glue. But we'll see, maybe we'll try that one. I'm very curious to um, try Cupcake and Barb. And this color Shemsa looks so wonderful. I think Shemsa is one of my favorite shades in this palette. Whoop, look, I just, so it came out. I'm not, not definitely, maybe, uh, I'll definitely not travel with this palette. Um, still, it's back in there. It's a beautiful shade though. I don't feel like it's going to be easy to work with. Needs a base. But I'm very curious to try this palette. So let's try it. I'm going to prime my face. Prime, I'm going to prime my eyes with Wet n Wild uh, eyeshadow primer. I purchased this for maybe a month ago again because this is one of the best eyeshadow primers for oily eyelids. This really keeps my makeup in place for at least 15, 16 hours, and that is what I need. I do always set my eyeshadow primer, so I'm going to do the same thing with some powder. And let's start applying the... I'm going to use my Tati Blender Full that I've been using a lot. It's dirty because I've been losing it, using it a lot, and I'm loving it more and more for every, uh, for every time I use it because it blends everything very nice and I like using this one thing for applying all over my makeup. I've been washing it too, very easy to wash. I do really like this product. Uh, I have a review of, of that on my channel. And let's go to the palette. I won't be using uh, the brush that comes in this palette, but I totally like these brushes. I do use them, but this time I won't because I want to use other brushes. I'm going to take this Jaclyn Hill 33 brush and go in Shemsa. I'm going to go in with that color and start applying it here. I'm going to try this palette. I've been loving Anastasia eyeshadow palettes, even the subculture. I like that palette. I mean, it has some fallout, but all of the Anastasia palettes does. I don't see any different. Maybe this one, this Shemsa is kind of pressed a little bit harder. Um, but I mean, it's pigmented. It's there. It blends in very nice. Blends very, very nice. I'm going to blend it a little bit more later. I really like this shade. I mean, I've seen this shade in other palettes, so it's nothing special, but I kind of like these kind of shades. These two look very similar. The New Yorker and the OG. I'm going to swatch both of them because I don't know which I will use. Can you see? 
feel very similar. I don't know if we really need both of them. I don't see a big difference between them. One is more lighter than the other one, but that's all. I'm going to switch to another shade a brush. This is from Kaya Cosmetics, a blending brush. And I'm going to go in hmm, OG, I think. Just a little. This is more powdery. Um, blend the edges and go into the crease. I've been using uh, the Kali Bible and Anastasia palette a lot in January and also now in February too. I really like that palette, but it feels like it's supposed to come out now. It came in the fall and it feels like wrong time for it to be released, but I've been using it, definitely going to continue using it. I know I still haven't reviewed the um, Tati Beauty palette on my channel, but also the uh, Shane Dawson's and Jeffree Star palette that I also own, uh, but I haven't been myself for uh, these couple of months, so I didn't film, but I promise that will be on my channel soon now. Going back to with Shemsa just to kind of build up the pigmentation. We really like these are blending very nice. I'm going to do a very easy makeup look just because I feel like uh, that will be more helpful. Okay, I'm going to go in with this 305 um, Linda Halber flat brush and I'm going to go in cupcake this purple shade. I'm scared to move this palette around so this litty or lighty doesn't pop out again. I'm not going to wet it, I'm going to try to use it dry. Oh, it's a beautiful shade. A little bit of fallout. Let's see if I can use the finger. Yeah, finger is the way to go. Such a beautiful shade. This is a very unique shade. I don't have this shade in other palettes. This is a very unique, beautiful shade. I will definitely buy this palette just because, just for this shade. It's stunning. I'm going to go back with this brush that we use for Shemsa and kind of blend the edges a little bit. A little bit of fallout, but nothing major. I'm going to take my pinky and go in with Barb, this stunning pink, I don't know, pink, purple, very light, beautiful shade. Ooh, oh, this, oh, this is special. This must be my favorite shade in this palette, but also the cupcake. This is stunning. Well, I'm definitely buy palette just for this shade too. This is stunning. I'm going to go in with the cupcake again, kind of blend these two together. I don't want to cover a lot of that shade, but this is stunning. Beautiful shades. I don't know if you swatch this in real life, but I think you need to. This is a beautiful. I'm not really a big fan. This, the packaging is beautiful, but I don't like this glittery texture outside because it does leave some glitter on my hands. Not that it's bothering me at all, but I don't know. So I do have some fallout. I'm going to go and fix the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to finish this makeup look. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia A darling, I'm just so fed up With these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me i 
Let's go back to the makeup look and I'm going to go to this waist shade here. The first, ooh, that one is very powdery. And I'm going to blend the edges. I like this shade. I'm going to take Barb again and just place a little bit more here. It's stunning. I really like this shade. I, I feel like men, this Anastasia looks also very beautiful. I need to use this palette a little bit more. But I'm going to take the Shemsa and uh, blend it under my low lash line. I'm going to take this Kaya Cosmetics brush. Very nice, small, pointy brush. And connect everything. Now, I'm going to take the OG again, and I feel like I'm only using those shades, but and blend the edges down here. I feel like I'm going to use this palette a lot. Everything blends very, very nice and very easy. So, I'm going to use some mascara and some lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back with some eyelashes, mascara, and some uh, lipstick. Now, this palette, back to this baby. It is stunning. Like I said, I really like this pink glittery thing or uh, like light pink, uh, rose pink text. I really like how it looks. I am not a big fan of the texture, though, because it does leave some glitter all over my hands. It's not much, but it's there. Uh, but I really like the color scheme. I think it's stunning. I think it's beautiful. I'm not a big fan of these glitters. Uh, this one, it's beautiful. They're beautiful, but I don't know. I'll see. I'll try them out. I just feel like I'm not going to get a lot of use of it, of them. But there are some stunning shades in here. This Georgia looks amazing. Can't wait to try Anastasia and uh, Rezi, Rezi, Rezi. Uh, Shamsa is stunning. 1988 looks beautiful. Yoga, Yoga, Yoga looks also as a stunning shade. I really want to try this palette a little bit more. I really want to create more makeup look with this palette. Please let me know down below if you're interested to see more makeup looks. I'm sorry for my hair. It looks like a mess. I have a lot of gray hair peeking through. I'm going to color it tomorrow. Um, can't wait for that too. But I'll be back with more makeup looks. Let me know down below if you're really interested to see that. I think this palette is stunning. These shades blend beautifully. They are very pigmented, very nice, very easy to blend, very easy to build up. Uh, there is some fallout, but it's like every Anastasia palette. I mean, nothing major, but it's, it is there. Um, this looks to be more, a little bit bigger than the others. Let me compare with this Kylie Bible palette. This is the usual side. This is a little bit longer because it has two more shades than the other palettes. This is re very loved, very used palette of mine. I really like it. But here you get two more shades than the two shades uh, more than in the other. And I feel all of the these shades are very useful, except the glitters. Like I said, I'm not really a big fan of these glitters, though I really like them, those in Tati Beauty palette. 
that those glitters are stunning but these I, I don't know I need to try them that's all of them they're beautiful but I just need to try them uh, I can't wait to play with more shades I really want to create the makeup looks this make this palette inspires me to create more makeup looks and to play with it and I know I could definitely use Yugo to kind of dark up the edges a little bit but I just don't want to do that it feels this makeup look was very easy to create nothing special it's like makeup looks I will create every day but I just feel like that is the way I wanted to try this palette so I'll definitely play with this palette a little bit more but guys that was everything thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video I love you all bye